Ladies and gentlemen, let me talk to you about ground bait and importantly, the granite mix for today. We've got gin clear water today, we're targeting roach and other silver fish. There's one ground bait that I'm going to use, that's frenzied hemp seed ground bait. This has got to go on the bait list for today. Match black variety. The reason I'm using a dark ground bait is, when the water's clear, I always feel that fish feel wary when they're sitting over a light coloured bed of bait. When the, when the bed of bait's quite dark, the fish feel confident, they feed confidently, and they'll actually sit there, you'll get more bites. So, into the bucket goes a full bag. You, it's got such a unique smell this ground bait has, you can, you can tell instantly when an angler's using this when you walk by them. Loads of active particles in, in there, loads of crushed hemp seed as the name suggests. Next ingredient that goes in, good old fashioned rich brown crumb. In all of my natural venue mixes, I always put brown crumb. I think it holds some, holds better fish, it helps the mix act, act nice in the water, and it really, really helps lighten the mix up when, you, when you're actually mixing the bait. Importantly as well, because of the way I'm gonna mix this feed, it takes on loads of water. So I can add loads and loads of extra water, get a nice inert mix. So, I'm going to add probably half a bag of that. So we've got a full bag of the, the match black and half a bag of brown crumb. Simply a case, mixing the whole lot together. And you can see in there, that it's took on a slightly lighter colour. But once you add the water, and start give it a good mix. Usually I'd use a drill for this, but for today, it's not a massive amount of ground bait. You can see how it darkens up straight away once you add the water. And that's just the colouring and the match black ground bait coming through. And what I like to do with all my natural venue sort of non-pellet based mixes is add the water in add the water in stages. If this was a pellet based mix I'd add a lot of water, take it so it almost a sloppy state and then bring bring it back at a late you know a half hour later but what I like to do with these natural mixes these biscuit based mixes is add the water in stages so what I'm going to do is I've added probably a, a pint of water to that mix it, it sort of makes a ball now but you know that in 10 minutes time that that'll be almost bone dry again and then we can probably add another pint maybe even two pints of water create that really inert mix run it through a riddle and it'll be perfect so there you go you can see that's had two helpings of water now we've probably used two pints in total even before riddling i'm not going to riddle it because we know we all know how to riddle ground bait i'm just going to show you now finished mix nice and fine loads of activity but importantly when i place that in a feeder it's going to go straight to the bottom it's going to empty out of the feeder and it's going to probably 95 percent of the particles are going to sit there on the bottom which is where ultimately my hook bait is going to be. Catch the fish, reel it in, put it in the net, chuck out, catch another one. Sounds easy, let's give it a go.